Hello and welcome back students. After a long time, I, Jayashri Datta, is back again for all of you with your general knowledge classes. Let's start with the topic on animals today. Now first, let me read the clues and identify these animals. The first picture uh, is the flamingos. Our flamingos, they are talkative wading birds. The second uh, animal is known as lemures. They are known due to their long black and white ring tail. The third animal is a picture of an orangutan. They have longer arms than other great apes and their hair are reddish brown. This animal is known as an otter. Although they can walk on land, they live mostly in the ocean. Now, this is a picture of a reindeer. Santa Claus is believed to have them flying as a team. They have antlers. Antlers are the big horns which they have over their heads. Now, this picture is the picture of a porcupine. You can see there. Uh, spines, though their coat of sharp spines or quills defends them from predators. They have a nickname called quill pill. Now we will read uh, about some animals, those who have their powerful weapons. All living beings have natural ways of protecting themselves from dangers. Some animals have weapons to use in time of danger. Now, this, uh, like the porcupine, has the quill to protect itself, and they are known as spines. The quills are known as spines. This animal is known as walrus, and it has tusks. Tusks means the long white teeth like the elephants this uh, acts as a weapon protective weapon and the third picture uh, this one is the cobra snake it has fangs to protect itself then this is a picture of a honeybee it has a sting it has sting to protect itself and it acts as a powerful weapon This is the picture of a snail, you all know. So it has a hard covering called shell. And this shell is the protective weapon of this animal. Now this picture is uh, of a skunk. Skunk has a very foul smell. And this smell protects as a, uh, it's, uh, this animal as, and acts as a weapon. So this is a picture of a jellyfish. It has tentacles to protect itself. So students, I think this is enough for you to understand. Here I end my class. Bye bye. See you in the next class.